KMT Mountain Sports, your home for the Kentucky Wildcats and local high school sports. After practice today, Mark Stoops confirms the NCAA has denied the request for linebacker Courtney Love and tight end Greg Hart to play this season for the Wildcats after transferring from Nebraska. The school is appealing the NCAA's decision, both likely, though, to sit out per transfer rules unless the ruling is reversed. Not only is Love ruled ineligible, but Kentucky also will not have middle linebacker Dorian Hendricks. Earlier today, we told you he will leave the program and transfer from Kentucky, leaving the meat of the defense a little thin. I think uh, there, there's you know, certainly a little bit of concern. If we can get Flanagan and uh, Josh back completely healthy, that'll obviously help at the, with the experience inside. Uh, you know, we know in Jabari outside, you know, played a lot of football last year. So, um, you know, hopefully we'll keep it to one guy, one position in, in the starting four with uh, not too much experience, game experience. But um, again, we just got to develop all those guys. We're gonna need them at some point in time. So we're gonna continue to work with all the backers and, and work some different combinations and get the best guys on the field. For WIMT Appalachian Wireless Games of the Week this weekend, all at the Pike County Bowl, two on Friday night, two on Saturday night. You can watch all four of these games on this TV and WIMT.com on Friday night at Belfry. Phelps and Eastridge will kick off at 6.05, and then Belfry and Tates Creek will kick off at approximately 8.35. Very next night on Saturday, August 29th, Pike Central, Shelby Valley at 6.05, and then Letcher Central will take on Pikeville at approximately 8.35. Again, all of these games on this TV and WYMT.com. Well, this past Friday night, Robbie Lucas's Somerset Briar Jumpers won their first game in 604 days. Last year, they went 0-10. This year, they're already 1-0. Running back Jordan Doan transfers back over from Southwestern and goes off by scoring five touchdowns, one of several outstanding performances we witnessed in the mountains in Week 0. Now Coach Lucas will prepare his team to go to Williamsburg for a game with the Yellow Jackets, who were blown out 51-0 in their first game. We went to work on the things we needed to improve, whether we won or lost. Uh, so coming into this game, we don't need to pay attention to anybody else's score. We've got our own problems to worry about earlier in the season. You know, like this, we're the, thing, we're the team we need to worry about. So what happened with Williamsburg, that's an anomaly. It won't happen again. So we simply need to make sure we take care of ourselves and continue to improve each and every play. Okay, across the street, Pulaski County, the defending Class 5A state champions, will go to Scott County Friday night. Head coach John Hines knows how tough of a challenge his team will have with one of the top Class 6A teams in the state trying to put together a game plan, Jamie, that gives us an opportunity to move the ball however it may be. If, if we think we can be successful running the ball, we'll do a lot of that. If we think we're going to be successful passing, we'll do a lot of that. We just want to be able to do either one in any situation. And so hopefully if we can find something that, uh, that we're able to do pretty well and, and that uh, maybe Scott County's having a hard time defending, then that's the area that we'll go, whether it's the run or the pass, really doesn't matter. We want to be able to, to be efficient at both. Still to come, Little League World Series highlights. Bowling Green East, the team out of Kentucky, plays in an elimination game with South Carolina. Game two of the preseason tonight for the Cincinnati Bengals. Cincy down in Tampa Bay to play the Buccaneers. And that guy, Jameis Winston, Tampa Bay's number one overall draft pick in this year's draft. First quarter, no score. It's second and goal, and Winston on the first drive of the game scores. He was three for three for 27 yards on that drive, but to get six, he runs it in from a yard out. Second quarter, Andy Dalton to his number one target, A.J. Green. Whoops. Off. His hands and into the hands of Alteron Werner. And his feet are, is in the end zone. That's a pick six. The Bengals drop to one and one in preseason play. Bucks win 25 to 11. Well, the Kentucky Little League team from Bowling Green facing elimination in Williamsport earlier today. Let's go to the World Series. South Carolina taking on Kentucky. This is Bowling Green East representing the Great Lakes region. Bottom one, no score. Eli. Burwash by solo shot for him. Kentucky scores three in the first, and we go to the bottom of the fifth. Game tied at three. Maddox Burr, an infield blooper with runners on the corners. That'll break up the score and the tie. 
Kentucky wins 4-3 and advances to place California Tuesday night. Meanwhile, sad news. The CEO of IndyCar's parent company announced today Justin Wilson has died. The IndyCar racer suffered injuries from a crash Sunday. The nose cone of an already crashed car flew off and struck Wilson in the head. Unlike NASCAR, IndyCar's have an open cockpit, so that's how that happened. Wilson was flown to a hospital where he did later die. Well, the Alice Lloyd College Mountain Top 10 rankings do not change this week, regardless of a win or loss. We wanted to make sure all teams play before the new rankings come out. Pulaski County is still the unanimous number one team in the mountains, Southwestern at two, and then the Belfry Pirates and Johnson Central Golden Eagles both will open their season up this week, along with Rockcastle County, the Rockets, who start the year ranked 10th. Want to mention, Tanner, that Michael Kidd Gilchrist, former Kentucky Wildcat, sure. signs a four-year, $52 million contract. The story said he agrees. Of course he agrees to it. A little bit more money than what we're making, but Just hey, good for him, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, Jamie, thanks. We'll wrap it up right after this.